Well, you gotta look on the bright side. We don't have to make this one look like a plane crash. Oh, Hannibal, this is terrible, man. The plane cut a path that even blind people can follow. Man, in front of Raleigh's gonna be on us in a hot second. Yeah, you're probably right. Get the weapons out. I'll be back in a minute. Wait a minute, man. Where you going? Well, I gotta go back to the old plane site and tell Face and Murdoch where we are. But I have to stay out of sight. How you gonna do that, man? I've decided the most realistic way is to use my duck call. Oh, Hannibal, not the call. Especially what happened to us last time. What happened last time? B.A., this time it'll work. Uh, I take it Hannibal's duck call isn't very good. Good? It's perfect. That's the problem. The last time he used that call, some duck hunters from the area almost had us for dinner. Disgusting. They're mistaken for ducks. <laughs> You're wasting my time. This is definitely oil from an airplane. What? Airplane oil. You see, what probably happened is my patient came right down through here somewhere and crashed somewhere down the line. If I can work with my patient, I'm sure he'll be able to lead us right to where the plane crashed. <laughs> Won't you? What the hell is that? Sounds like a duck. Plane! What did I tell you? Plane! Yeah, we're definitely closing in on it. Huh? Plane! Come on, I think we better stay on foot. Plane! The rear patrol reports no sign of further advancement. That means the plane can be no more than three miles from us in any direction. So we will split up and circle the area. Then we will move in together. All right? Let's go. They'll be here any minute. I don't know how many of them there are, so we'll be ready for anything. I've seen any duck hunters along the way? You had to tell her, huh? Now, Judy, stay on the ground below these boxes. B.A., take the left flank. Three and light years from Earth. They're all buried under the ground. Don't touch the eggs. Keep away from them. Might that be what you've been looking for, gentlemen? My plane! My plane! My kingdom for my plane! I think... I think he means that one. Let's move it. This isn't over for anybody till I get my stash back. Federales, this is a trap. <laughs> hey, this guy's a phony. He ain't no doctor. He's the guy that jumped us this morning at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give them cover, B.A. Don't let those men get away! Well, Mr. Corlin! I said we get up! Glad to see ya. Grab a gun. Hannibal, next time you decide to move, send out change of address cards. Where now can I almost bought the farm back there? Rally's headed this way. Yeah, they arrived a little early. That's where we had to relocate. Okay, I'll go around back and see if I can find Corliss. Face, take my position.
Judy! Let's get out of here. Let them fight it out. Everyone, I order you all under arrest. You need not bother with me and my associates. This man, this man here is the one you want. And there's more of his team hidden in the jungle, I'm sure. And here we are. What's this? What's going on? Mr. Winston Corliss is one of the world's leading cocaine dealers. This is some of his stock and trade. We thought you might want to keep it for the court as evidence. If I were you, Colonel, I would arrest these men and forget about everything else. I have friends in the Colombian government who could make things very difficult for you. I could care less about your friends in the Colombian government. This is Venezuela you're in now. <laughs> Venezuela? Yeah, we knew we couldn't extradite you from Colombia, so we nailed you in another country. Neat, huh? Who are you men? What do you have to do with all of this? We are agents for the United States Drug Enforcement Agency. Undercover, of course. <laughs> <laughs> 